Welcome back to my series, Making a Monster Movie. Today we are heading out to the easternmost end of Long Island, New York. The easternmost end of the state of New York. And what feels like pretty much the edge of the world. Montauk Point, New York. This section of Long Island is basically a peninsula that jets out into the Atlantic Ocean. It feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. It feels like it's at the ends of the earth and it is an amazing location. I only ever visited Montauk one time before in the spring of 2005 when me and my buddy Hassan ventured out there just to take photos and see the place. I've always wanted to make a movie out here, but I just, I never got around to it because to get to this area, you need a car. And from New York City, it could take up to four and a half hours to get there, even though it shouldn't. That's a, that's a kind of a loaded story though, because driving in Long Island is a loaded experience. <laughs> in, in a reasonable world, uh, driving between New York City and Montauk should take no more than two hours, but with that said, I finally got out there to do an official location scout and I love the location. I don't know if it's quite right for the monster movie I have in mind, but it's still a great location for something forthcoming. So I'm going to include it here as part of the series because it was scouted as a potential location for this monster movie. One of my favorite things about Montauk Point is that it's broken down into different state parks. So Montauk Point State Park is where the Montauk Lighthouse is, and then right next to it is Camp Hero State Park, and you can literally walk between the parks. Camp Hero is an interesting location too. Somewhat creepy. Camp Hero is a location that appears in a lot of independent films from Long Island based filmmakers, especially the old radar tower which looms over a section of the park. There are a lot of conspiracy theories about this area, none of which I really believe, but you know, it still makes for an interesting vibe to the place and when you use it in a film, it, it kind of brings all of those feelings into the movie. So this is definitely, no pun intended, this is definitely a location to keep on your radar. Thanks for visiting Montauk with me, and I will see all of you on the next installment of Making a Monster Movie.